be fair so, to say you've been studying the Bible now for 15 years and now you teach classes on the Bible. I've probably been studying it for 40 years and okay. now teach, but have been teaching classes for the last 25 years. About the Bible. So yes. you could say if I would ask you about a verse, you would probably maybe know it by heart or know about it. I don't know if I'd know if it by Isaiah. heart, but no, I would know I could open that to and say, here's, I could probably say, here's what it means to me. I was trying to help you. So I, I quit using my brain cells to know, to know like the exact verse where it is because I want to use my brain cells on remembering what it means. Yes. Okay. So here's my question to you then, because I, it was the first Bible verse I ever memorized. Hmm. And I remember because that's how I got through Bible class, because I have a photographic memory, and I can memorize really easily. Oh, I wish I had And that. the verse, and, and it also made me feel really good, and it was about the lion and the lamb laying down together. The lion shall lay down with the lamb, and that sort of represented peace and, the, you know, a new earth, yeah. in a way, you know? And I'm, a, I'm an animal person, so I love the paintings of the lion and the lamb, and that verse was, meant a lot to me. Um, what, would, what would you say about that verse? I would say that that verse is exactly what you said. It is about peace, and it represents you know, a new order, meaning right now you're not going to have a lion and a lamb in the same room without one being hungry and the other being dinner. And so this is a verse that talks about the way it was before, before the fall of man, before the mortality the way we know it, and it will be a way that we ultimately end back to. And what a wonderful thing when it's not only that the animals get along, but Mankind gets along. Exactly. And that's why it, hit, it struck me. And whenever I saw a lion, even in the, in the book, Lion, the Witch in the Wardrobe, Aslan, you know, just the majesticness of a lion and lamb and the paintings. And that verse, you know, I know it was the lion shall lay down with the lamb. Um, and now I cannot find a verse that says the lion shall lay down with the lamb. The verse that I remember is now, when I look at any Bible, not just the King James Version, but now it says the wolf shall dwell with the lamb. I believe there's one in Isaiah 11. Yes, Isaiah 11 verse pause, six. and I yep. can go. I'll go no, no, it's it. first, we've already done. We already did it. They're, they're not as true as mine because mine are marked up, so I recognize that. It's, um, I believe it's Isaiah 11 verse mm -hmm. six. And sometimes. Would you go get my Bible? Well, yours. Yep. I was just joking. This one says that the wolf shall dwell with the lamb and the leopard with the kid and the calf with the young lion. So possibly what you have is the memory of the way it gets said. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? So, and then you go look at it and it's like, wait a minute, this doesn't match my memory. Right. And the, and Sometimes there's different translations. And, and that's, yeah, and, I, and, and, and the reason I ask you this is I've done so much research on it along with uh, thousands of other people who are having the same question about this verse. And in any translation of any Bible, even the one that my mom has from when she was a kid, and then the one that my mom has, which she gave to my, uh, my dad for their anniversary, and even in the one I have when I rededicated my life to Christ when I was 15, it never says the lion shall lay down with the lamb. Let me just look and see if I have it. And Elvis Presley has a song about the lion shall lay down with the lamb, by the way. Mm -hmm. Why would he sing that if, if, if that didn't come from anything? That's the one that, when you said it to me, that's just all I remembered. I never had the wolf. No. In fact, when I read that, it's like, who stuck that in there? Sorry, that wasn't me. I got me. Well, I don't see the exact thing, but here's something that's really interesting. Okay. I read this fascinating article about, this was actually some Mormon, um, some Mormon scripture kind of stuff. And recently, they've been saying, no, it occurred like this. And I was talking to a girl in my class, and she said, I said, yes, what they're saying is accurate. She goes, well, why didn't they do all the pictures like that? I always grew up with this picture. And then I read this article, it was by an artist, or talking about artists, he interviewed artists, and he said, do you feel compelled to render scripture just, you know, the way it is? And it's like, no, I'm trying to get across an idea. And this article went on to explore about how 
much artists create our sense of what's really there mm -hmm. and yet that's not even their intention and they can alter things because they're giving a symbolic meaning of certain things sure it's so a I, what i assume has happened is early on artists would read this isaiah 11 and they'd start saying oh yes the lion and the lamb will lie down together even though it says the what, but what does that one say that the that, lion that and Bible. the wolf, yeah, the wolf. You're, but in this it, so this is a different version this is king james king james okay and that one says exactly the uh wolf shall dwell this one Oops. Isaiah 11, verse 6. I know, I love it. See, I mean, it's serious. Like, this is someone that has studied back and forth, which is why. And you... the wolf also shall dwell with the lamb, and the leopard shall lie down with the kid, and the calf and the young lion, and the fatling together, and a little child shall leave them. So. I'll, I'm just assuming that our image of a lion and lamb has come from all of the paintings, which is just a simplification of this book, of this verse. Well, and then you think of the song by Elvis, A Lion and the Lamb, and other songs, A Lion and the Lamb, and the painting. Why are they always choosing the lion and the lamb when I know, when I memorized it, I had not, I had not seen a picture of it. It was in fourth grade, and I was just memorizing it and what, verbatim, what, the lion what, and the what, lamb. Um, I don't know. I went to a Christian school, so wow. it, maybe it was um, revised, the, revised version. something version. Oh. But it always surprises people. And you, uh, studying the Bible before you opened it, we're talking yeah. about the lion and the lamb. Mm -hmm. So there's thousands of people right now um, that are there's seeing a lot of changes happening in, in yeah. what they call the shift of of the the universe right now. It's getting close to a new heaven and a new earth, and things are changing. And it's called the Mandela effect. But one of the changes is there are other um, Versus like the Lord's Prayer, there's no longer trespasses in the Lord's Prayer, which is interesting because in no version can they find trespasses. Um, just one more statement on the lion and the lamb, as you can see why it would take off because of the alliteration. Yeah. You know, and, and it's just, it's memorable. Yeah. And you probably have preachers early on. But why would wouldn't they it? say wolf? Because that's such a very, like, that is more poignant, I think, a wolf laying with a lamb, because wolves eat lambs. That would be more poignant to say the wolf shall dwell with the lamb. And then there should be paintings of wolves and lambs. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Yes, I do. I, you know, other than, like I said, the alliteration. And the other thing you have is people that translate scriptures, like yeah. different versions are being translated in the Middle Ages and on, and sure. they're being translated in Europe, and they're not being translated back in Israel right. where it's written. So you also have some things that may um, got the have, whole lost in translation well, thing. Well, yeah, and people could relate with what they are. You know, you read mm -hmm. that, you can read something about, you know, Palestine and the ancient world, and think, I, I don't get this. Oh, this is like the Lion and the Lamb. I'm right. not saying that occurred. I'm just right. saying it's a possibility. Right.